Scarlatti accompanied Queen Maria Barbara and her entourage, moving to the different Spanish palaces in a seasonal cycle. As official composer in the employment of the Queen, Scarlatti had access not just to harpsichords, but also pianos in the various royal palaces. The keyboard instruments were carried over the mountain passes on the backs of mules. In the spring, the court settled at Aranjuez and enjoyed the natural beauty of the countryside. This was the loveliest and most tranquil of all the royal palaces. This sonata in C major is marked simply cantabile. This piece evokes the serenity and the beauty of Aranjuez. We hear a passage that suggests the gentle murmur of running water diverted from the Tagus River that could be heard from all parts of the royal estate. But now we hear a suggestion of sadness, perhaps a musical portrait of the queen's melancholy. She reflects on her strange prearranged destiny and her uncertain fate if she should survive the king. For the moment, the lovely gardens and the soothing sounds of the water are welcome diversions from her troubles. In the month of June, there were grand festivities at Aranjuez. This great sonata in C major is a depiction of royal pageantry. The piece begins and ends with brilliant Scarlatti sound effects. Here is the opening fanfare that announces the arrival of the royals with an embellished version of Horn Fifths. The king and queen are here. Scarlatti uses the left hand polychords to suggest the majestic power of the king and queen. They greet their subjects. Meaningless pleasantries are exchanged. The 
The royal barges on the Tagus River are preparing the marvelous display of fireworks. We hear the mounting excitement as the fleet gets ready to launch a salvo. This is the only sonata that ends with a Scarlatti pyrotechnical invention, the glissando. We see the rocket burst into a thousand colors. In the summer, the court stayed in the palace at La Granja in the mountains. Here, the royal entourage enjoyed the fresh air, the elaborate formal gardens, and the magnificent fountains that rivaled Versailles. This beautiful sonata in G major has spiritoso as a modifier. The term is unique in the sonatas and means that we should play expressively and expansively. We can imagine the procession of the queen and her court strolling through the lovely gardens. is delighted to see the magnificent fountains. The arpeggios suggest the rise and fall of the water in the fountains. This is perhaps the first example of water-inspired musical impressionism. smiles and is perfectly content. Perhaps she is thinking, it's good to be the queen. <laughs> <laughs> 